Hello, it's Robert. I've come over from Kent in England uh, to watch the mighty Borussia Dortmund once again. Hi, it's Neil. One year on since we last spoke. We're still coming to watch Dortmund. We still love it. We're at, we're at an away match. We can't wait. All right, it's Matt. Great to see you again. We're coming to watch Borussia Dortmund against Bochum. Hoping for another three points. Well, it's Justin from Kent. Uh, back again to watch Dortmund away from home. Uh, looking forward to three points. Hi, this is Tom. This is my first time on the camera, but my second Dortmund game. Hey guys, good to have you back with yeah, us at Dortmund. Good to be back. And uh, what happened during the last year? You've been coming to see Dortmund play a lot, or? Yeah, we've yeah. been. Uh, luckily, we've come back uh, third time now. These guys came to Cologne. We came to the uh, Scheiser game. Unfortunately, we lost that one. And we also come to the Nuremberg game. Come today against Bochum, and then uh, we'll come into the Wolfsburg game at the end of the season. Hopefully, like the Wolfsburg, uh, the Nuremberg game, we won 4-0. We're hoping for three points today. So it's the first away match for you guys, seeing Borussia well, Dortmund play away. The majority of this is the first away game. Justin was lucky enough to go to I Berlin. I went to Berlin last uh, last year, yeah, watching in Berlin. But with uh, with the boys, this is the first away game. Okay, so how does it feel to not go to the Westfalenstadion for the first time, or? The second time for you. It's, 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 it's a good buzz about the stadium, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, it's, uh, everyone's in good spirits. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a good little vibe going on, yeah, yeah. It was uh, interesting. We uh, normally drive and carry on, but we stopped before we come to Dortmund. So uh, today we stopped a little bit earlier, come to Bochum, had a few beers, had a few breakfast, and now we're Looking forward to the game. It's just a bit yeah. earlier, you stopped yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, no, it's only about 10k. That's a V1 derby. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the little derby yeah. we've been told. Yeah. Yeah. The little derby, the so. B, um, the B1 derby. The B1 yeah. derby. Bundesstraße yeah. 1. Bundesstraße 1. Yeah. 1. Yeah. derby. That's it. But it's just a derby we don't really care about. Just a. Yeah. Maybe I think Bochum do care. Bochum. Yeah. They do care about that. Yes, so, um, you have been with Norbert Dickel recently. You formed a fan club or so. Yeah, yeah. We've been, yeah, since you've been up, the Planet Dortmund Supporters Cup for the UK has been set up. Um, Jorg from Scotland and various other guys from Scotland have uh, been involved with that. And we hopefully, Jorg um, set us up. So we met Norbert Dickel at the Nuremberg game on the big screen. We sent pictures and everything, and we, we were interviewed by Norbert Dickel in the in the four 0 game against Nuremberg, and it was a great experience, wasn't it, Justin? It was, yeah, yeah. In, in the little uh, in the corner at half time, uh, we. Uh, yeah, we all went up there, we were interviewed, uh, and, and some of our, our pictures from uh, previous trips were shown on the on the screen in the stadium, which, uh, it, yeah, it was pretty special. It was special. Yeah, it was pretty it really, special. It really yeah. was, yeah. must have been a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Oh, totally. It was amazing. Your... And we'd, we'd like to, you know, to get the appreciation of the West Island, and in particular the Sir Tribune at the end, you know, that was just a special moment for all of us. Yeah, we had a round of applause when, 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 uh, when we were introduced and the fans clapped and, and it, you know, it was. It, it felt really good. You know, it was. So since the last time we spoke, you formed a supporters club. Yeah, basically, um, there's a few supporters in England we've managed to find with forums and Planet Dormans that seen the main one in York. Up in Scotland, has done a brilliant job, and we're sort of affiliated to the club as well. So they send us information, and York, who is German but lives in Scotland, uh, managed to sort that out. And as we were going over, we got interviewed, and I know he, no York, so hopefully sorted us tickets out for the Wolfsburg game. So. The Wolfsburg game, there's going to be a lot of people from the Planet Dortmund UK supporters club there cheering on the boys, hopefully to... For the championship? Well, I don't know about that, but hopefully for Europe uh, and uh, well, hopefully that's... laughing at the other lot, uh, Scheiser not winning the championship. Our dream is to watch Dortmund play in England, maybe Spurs next year, Fulham, that would be a dream for us. So getting into Europe is a good start if we can do that. And you believe we're going to go into Europe? Yeah. Fifth. Yes, looking good. Definitely. I think we can get even good, fourth. Yeah. I think we can even catch Hamburg and maybe Leverkusen are struggling a bit now. Maybe they've lost the, that first The big game, game maybe the Werder Bremen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Werder Bremen it's the match. big game. I think it's the big game. We'll be watching Two that in go. England on the telly. Well, I mean, it's um, after, a, after a difficult start to the season, uh, a slow start to the season, I feel that we've, we've gained some momentum. The performances have become better and better and better. And I think... That momentum will carry us forward and we'll be able to get some European placing and play in the Europa League next season, which is, uh, 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 you know, fingers you crossed. you guy, Lucas Barrios, because last time we were on, he oh, wasn't there. Special. Super, Lucas Super, Super Lucas Barrios. Super Lucas. He's a born goal scorer, you can see, you know, he's got the, uh, 
to touch in the box. Uh, he's got, you know, and especially last uh, last week with the, um, he shows he can assist as well. The, the, the assist for Zidane. So I think he's, uh, you know, he, he's settled in nicely. I think. So he's, and he's, he's a, is he the player that impressed you the most this season, or is there any other? Uh, well, he, he gets the headlines because he scores the goals, but Hummels. but yeah, Hummels, Hummels, uh, is Hummels surely should be for the uh, for the Germany World Cup squad. He's he's looked uh, he's looked a class act. You know? One one player um, last week, England played Egypt, and of course Zidane. But we told everyone, watch out for Mohamed Zidane. He scored the goal, and in England, everyone, oh, he's a great player, he's a great player. So, so he's going to sign to Arsenal next. Well, no, they said on the television, they said Mohamed Zidane's father said that Manchester United are interested. Well, on Dream TV? Yeah, well, maybe, so, uh, maybe. So maybe we'll, we'll take 20 million uh, English pounds for him, thank you, uh, yeah. Mr and, Ferguson. Yeah. And uh, about Subotic, he's going to go up to join City, or...? There's always rumours that Subotic is... Uh, Going to join these teams, so uh, we hope get... not. We, we, we don't want to. We don't want to see Subotic go. We, we want him to stay and, and keep keep a good, strong partnership that he's formed in, in our defence. But we'll accept Manchester City's money. The, the, the problem is, though, if if, if, they, if, if, if uh, we qualify for the Europa League, we can't sell the best players. You need to uh, strengthen the squad, build on what we've got there. Uh, so by selling the players. You're not going to do that. I think and these, these fans, all these fans here, deserve European football. So uh, fingers all crossed, Europe can get us there this season. It's going to get us here. And uh, so thanks for having us again. And, uh, great to see you, Steph. Great, great to be yeah, back. Thanks for having us back. back. Thank you. And uh, so, final question: What's the result today? Uh, uh, Bochum nil, Dortmund two. Yeah, it's final. It's final. 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 Yeah, two nil. Two nil. Uh, seven six to Dortmund. Let's <laughs> have a good game. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's on. So, how do you, um, you find your second chair? Stadium or? Well, I've been, I've been to many stadiums, uh, top flight stadiums. Uh, it's good on the outside. You tell me it's quite a traditional uh, traditional ground. And that's, as I say, I don't like the round pitches like em the Emirates and Wembley. It's a proper, uh, proper ground like Anfield and yeah. Bristol Dortmund's ground. So you travel to see new grounds yeah, I like, everywhere in the world? Yeah, exactly. And I've, I've been to, uh, in, in Europe, I've been to a couple in Portugal, uh, Ajax's ground. Uh, Bristol Dortmund, and then I've been to about over half of the English Premier League's ground, so I, I just like going to all the different grounds. You're going to like this ground, and uh, once you get back to the Wolfsburg game, yeah, uh, see us win the league. I hope, uh, who knows? Who knows? Well, no, who knows? 27 points for us. We should go atop. Well, uh, one step at a time. Uh, maybe champ yeah, Europa League first. Uh, watch what Fulham have done. They've really built on them from last year and they're progressing. They're, they're, they're one step at a time. <laughs>